I just washed the car literally the other day and it's literally just been sitting since the wash and it's all pollen. What is up everyone? I'm back. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, I'm Vincent. Um, been making videos for the past couple years. This is my O4 SCI. And welcome. Welcome to the channel everyone. So in today's video, we're pretty much going to be talking about a topic. Big topic for Subaru people. And that will be the Tome. Is it worth it? And pros and cons. So we're going to jump right into it. Um, I'm going to start naming some things off the top of my head. There's a lot of pros to be honest with this exhaust. Let's be honest. You don't want to be quiet. The Tome isn't quiet, so it definitely fulfills your uh, wants, I guess you could say. I'm not the brightest with my words, so correct me in the comments, but I guess it fulfills what you are wanting in exhaust, which would be very loud. Um, Tome's probably the loudest you can get out there. Okay, okay, you're gonna argue me. The uh, Jim Con or whatever exhaust, blah blah blah. This thing I would say is louder than that. I haven't heard that in person, but this thing is super loud, really loud, and it does pass emissions. This has a cat on it, and I'll put some clips of it revving, and I'll put some clips of it driving in the video as well. So let's jump right into it. Number one, Tome, I would say the looks. This exhaust absolutely is a huge cannon. This thing, seeing this thing, you are like, wow. It's a four and a half inch tip in diameter. You can pretty much fit your whole entire fist in it. This is my hand. I have a decently sized hand um, next to it. Uh, I guess I'm gonna take my shoe off just for a comparison. This is a size 13 shoe. I don't think I've ruined it. I don't think anybody has done this comparison, but size 13 shoe. It's about half, almost a, not half, but it's four and a half inch tip. It's a big tip. All right, guys, don't don't be calmed in some weird stuff now. All right, um, she's fat. She looks good. My Tome, I wash it, I wax it, I keep it clean. I'm weird like that, so. But you know, hey, who doesn't like a clean exhaust? It looks good. So number one. It looks good. 10,000 mile ownership with a Tome. Boom. That's the title, guys. So, yeah. Honestly, Tome is a great exhaust. Um, not much drone, really, to me. Okay, I just took the car to Pennsylvania this past weekend. Two and a half hour trip. And there was not much drone. Really. Um, I'm used to it. Everyone's different. For a young 19-year-old kid, it's not bad at all. Then again, when I did get into my place where I stayed in, once I arrived in Pennsylvania, my um, ears were ringing. I had a ring for about 20, 30 minutes after that. But it didn't give me like a headache, you know what I mean? And I did drive with the windows down as well, so that doesn't help. Because, you know, why not? It's beautiful. Wow. Who drives with the windows up when you got a Tome? Tomes are about a thousand bucks right now a thousand or eleven hundred bucks i bought mine actually used with a thousand miles on it brand new uh, and i saved myself a couple hundred bucks so i would honestly say it's i stole it pretty much from a guy local to me um ten thousand miles with it it's really been enjoyable um with the stock down pipe it was still pretty loud honestly really loud um you'd get those occasional pops and bangs out of nowhere just cruising or something and it would be like oh you know it's just cool to hear now with the downpipe it's really really obnoxious like crazy like i'll be driving and be bang i'm like whoa what was that i'm like that's me i'm like Shh, crazy um it's like really loud as you guys can tell in the video and i'll put some clips uh i've had my friends record videos of me driving by or like doing a flyby and it literally breaks the audio of the camera and that's still with a cat to be honest 
that cat doesn't really do anything for noise, to be honest. Yes, Catless is a tad bit louder, but this thing is crazy loud with that cat. I don't understand. Maybe the cat's not even there. God only knows. Um, <laughs> um, I did check it, though. The cat isn't there when I bought the downpipe. A con, I would say, would be the springs. Um, but it's not really a con. They never fell off. But they have on, like, downshifting, like, rattle. Like, if you downshift and you get the car up to, like, 5,000 RPMs, it'll, like, rattle, kind of. And you can kind of hear it a little bit. It kind of sounds a little crappy. But, um, to be honest, you don't even need the springs. Most people take them off. I left mine on. That's, like, the only con I could think of. Another con, I would say, is because it's so huge, the exhaust. If you're, like, one of those static people and want to go really low, it might get in the way. Um, it's a three inch all the way back to a four inch tip um, It does sit pretty high up honestly for a that big of an exhaust, but it also then again is the lowest point in the car um, This is not scraped at all this part at all um, Down there my downpipe really is pretty low now that I'm actually looking at it. So that has hit um, and You know it is what it is but the exhaust it is big so i would say the con for you low people like really low people i'm not i'm like low but i'm not like that low like i have one finger gap all around my lips about four inches off the ground you know i can still fit my shoe underneath the car is low but it's not that low it's just a perfect height so the exhaust does not really hit that much um neighbors wise my neighbors whatever they don't complain uh, I've never been pulled over for the exhaust. See if you guys really enjoy it. I highly recommend Tomei. I say Tomei is the best exhaust, the top exhaust that you can get for your car. So enjoy some clips. Alright guys.